So here's the Papa John's website. Let's click on create your own. Right, let's see how many toppings we can get. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six toppings. I think we can do better than that. The works has already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven toppings. Let's see how many we can add. One, two, three. Okay, we can add three. That means we can get to ten. So this is going to be the Papa John's ten topping pizza. Crack the lid on what will be a truly epic dish. The pizza seat table thing, get out of the, oh, nearly dropped it. That would have been an explosive start to the video. Wow, it's heavy, it smells amazing, it looks crowded. Let's do the 10 topping pizza. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK. My name is MJ and today we are doing the 10 topping pizza from Papa John's, yes. The kings of UK pizza chain, as I highlighted in this video. Uh, they are hitting us with the 10 toppings. So this is a The Works pizza, which I will read out what it has. Um, it has seven toppings. Now with Papa John's, you can, I think you can basically, yeah, you can only make three changes to pizza. So this is a Works plus three items. So the Works is pepperoni, Italian style sausage, ham, chestnut mushrooms, green peppers, sliced onions, and black Herrera olives. And I added pineapple, feta, and spicy beef. So that brings us to 10 toppings. Um, at Domino's, you can only get a maximum of nine. They merely have a, a limit. And at Pizza Hut, you can actually do 10 as well, but of course, never gonna order food from Pizza Hut again because they're not good. Uh, the pizza bad and customer service is even worse. So, uh, right, enough jibber jabber, guys. I mean, this looks incredible. Let me just get a photo for Instagram, at Frutgram. Make sure you're following us. I really wanna um, have someone catch you in a Pizza Hut one day. I'm not saying I'll never have it again, to be fair. Never gonna order food from Pizza Hut again. Because um, I do like, I like their deep pan. Yeah, their, their restaurant pizza's really nice, but their takeaway ones are, are, are not good. And I just can't really support them, so. And it doesn't matter anyway, because we're out of the catchment area, so. Right, let's give it a go, guys. This looks really good actually. It doesn't, the thing is, it doesn't look overloaded or anything like that. I don't know where to start. This one looks good actually. I'm not really an olive guy, and I'm also not actually a massive fan of onion um, on pizza either, but there we go. That's what it looks like. It smells good, it smells very fragrant as well. So here we go, guys, this is the 10 topping pizza. Mmm. 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 So, as I think I mentioned, I did the nine topping pizza from Domino's recently. And it was good. It was a little bit muddled and a little bit all over the place in it. I don't know, it wasn't, it wasn't mind-blowing. This, however, mmm. Oh, that's like that. I'll tell you, the, the thing, well, hang on, let me try and get that in focus first. Look at that bite. Look at that bite that you are presented with. Look at look at how much how much stuff is on there. Mmm. Mmm. There is one major difference that I noticed straight away between this and the Domino's one. Mmm. And that is the quality. Actually, one thing I want to say is you may be wondering why I picked the extra toppings that I did. I actually made a spreadsheet because I'm an idiot. I made a spreadsheet and I listed down. All of like the different sort of flavour profiles and flavour like tastes and whatnot, and I like sort of filled in which ones would be best to add from the available options. So that's why I, how I landed on those three. Oh, oh, Papa John's is so good, man. As I said, the difference here, guys, is the quality. Instead of as with Domino's, and listen, I like Domino's. Nothing against Domino's, but the Domino's was just a mouthful of kind of cheap tasting meats and whatnot. This, any individual topping, is really, really nice on its own. They actually, they really do care about the ingredients. So any of the individual toppings alone are great. The combination of all of these, absolutely lovely. I've had the works before. It's a really nice pizza. It's a great combination of flavours. This sort of just adds to that. Uh, the only thing I wasn't getting so much was the feta. It doesn't look like there's a huge amount of feta on. So there's just a little nibble. Mmm. Crumbly. Creamy, really nice and creamy. 
a little extra bite. I actually just bit my finger there, I don't know if you saw that. Really good guys. Really, really nice. As I say, it is just a brilliant combination of flavours. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and the, the quality of all the ingredients shines through. This is a this is a showcase of the awesome work that Pathogens do. Very, very delicious. It's not as nice as their classics. Like I'm a I'm a just a straight pepperoni guy. I've actually got a bee sting there. Claire and I are gonna share these pizzas. Bee sting is is bay. Um, but this is still a solid five star pizza. Thank you very much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. What's next? Um, buy two different ten toppings pizzas from somewhere or nine toppings pizzas, but they're all different toppings and then just scrape the toppings off to make an eighteen topping pizza. That sounds like the kind of mental thing that I would do. I hand off the pizza to Claire. And I thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Oh my god!